In this tutorial, we'll look at how to run the installer. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to install the core software and create an admin account by running the included installer. Before you get started with this tutorial, you'll want to make sure that you have set up a server or local development environment that meets the server requirements, and that you've prepared to install by downloading the core software and placing it into the appropriate location on your server and creating a database to use. For more information, check out the links in the written version of this tutorial. If you're using a one-click install from a hosting provider or demo site, you will most likely see some or all of the following screens as part of the installation process. If you uploaded the core files manually, to start the installer, open a browser and visit the URL that you set up for your hosting. Assuming Drupal is not already installed, you will be automatically redirected to the installer. Select the language on the first page of the installer, for example, English. You could optionally choose from any of the other listed languages. The language files for the chosen language will be downloaded and installed so that the rest of the installation process can be finished in the chosen language. After choosing a language, click Save and Continue. Select an installation profile. Installation profiles provide site features and functions for a specific type of site as a single download containing the core software, contributed modules, themes, and predefined configuration. Core contains two installation profiles. Select the core standard installation profile, then click Save and Continue. The next step in the installer will verify that your system meets the minimum requirements. If it does not, you'll be presented with an outline of what needs to be corrected in order to proceed. If it does, the installer will automatically advance to the new step. Provide details of the database you created in the Preparing for Installation tutorial. This includes the database name and a username and password for connecting to it as well as optional advanced options where you can configure the host and a port number in a table prefix. Once complete, click Save and Continue. The next step will display a progress bar under the heading Installing Drupal. After the installer has completed, it will automatically advance to the next step. The final step is to configure some basic information about your new site. Note that the user account you create in this step is the site's admin account. See the tutorial the user1 account for important information about this unique account. You can safely name this account admin and make sure to choose a secure and unique password. Additionally, we'll provide a name for our site, a generic email address to associate with the site like info at and the desired credentials for the admin account. The remaining fields can likely be left at their default values. All of these can be changed at a later time, once you're done, go ahead and click Save and Continue. If everything is successful, you'll be redirected to the front page of your new site, and you should see the message, Congratulations, you installed Drupal, displayed at the top of the page. In this tutorial, we walk through the process of running Drupal's installer. We chose a language, an installation profile, and created the admin account in order to complete the initial setup of our Drupal site.